I'm Margot, I'm 21 years old, I use she, her pronouns and I identify as a transgender girl. I'm Eric, I'm 18, I go with he, him pronouns and I'm a non-binary trans guy. Alright, so like number one strangest question I've ever gotten um, is just at like, you know, parties or out with people and I'll meet a guy and he'll be like, oh you're really cute. Is it, is it gay if I, if I think that? Is it, is it gay if I like want to kiss you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm a girl, like, this, that's not how that works, calm down. And, and I'm not, like, the ultimate judge of, like, how gay a person is. I, I would love to be, like, the gospel authority on that, but, you know, not quite yet. One day. Probably one of the weirdest questions I get, and I understand the curiosity, but, like, what did you look like before? And I'm like, kind of like this with shorter hair. I don't know, like, it, it's just such a bizarre question. Yeah, why are people so curious about the picture of us when we were young. Like w when one of the first things you ask me uh, when you meet me is like, what are your baby pictures look like? That's a strange question. A question that really gets me is, um, you know, when are you getting the surgery or, or when are you, you know, getting hormones or this, that, the other. Um, and I totally understand that, you know, when you don't know a lot about trans people, there's an assumption that, okay, well, you know, you come out and then you go to see the doctor and then you, you know, get a bunch of medical treatments. But it's not kind of like a one pathway for all trans people. There's a lot of different ways to be trans. Some people feel that they need surgery, some people feel that they need hormones, but they're not for everyone. Um, and beyond that, it's a really personal question to ask what someone's gonna do with their life, with their body. There's one question that's so annoying is, what does your genital look like? What do your genitals look like, Eric? <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> I just, I don't get why a person would, would ask that, like it's super personal and invasive, like I'm not going to go up to you like, hey buddy, what do your genitals look like, so please don't ask that of me, um, unless, you know, we're dating and we're kind of at that point in a relationship, like third day, nice dinner, you know. Another question that we usually get is, which bathroom do you use? Which bathroom do you use? Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> It's just like the one that reflects, you know, my gender identity. Um, but which one exactly? I'm curious. <laughs> um, and I think so many people are just like, oh, but you know, what if other people think it's weird? Or what if, you know, uh, you, you're seen as a perv? And it's like, I'm just there to pee. Like, uh, the, the, the most cool thing is a trans person generally knows what bathroom they're comfortable using. You don't need to question them. You don't need to critique them. Just kind of let them go and do their business. I don't know what you're doing in the bathroom, but uh, if you're not doing anything weird, then trans people probably aren't either. So do you check people out when you go to the bathroom or change room? <laughs> it's okay. That is like the worst question. It's like, what low standard am I being held to that I am just there to pee or to change my clothes. I am not there to help anyone. I'm usually nervous enough about what's going on with my body. Um, being naked is awkward. I don't really want to look at other people. I think the most important thing to remember about, you know, medical treatments or, or transition or whatever, you know, people choose to do with their lives isn't necessarily about looking like other women or looking like other men or looking like, you know, a certain gender. It's about doing what you feel most at peace with and most comfortable with. And for me, I have, you know, chosen to access certain treatments, but those aren't about me looking like other people or trying to be like anyone else. They're about doing what feels most right for me.